So to me, what offline first means is when you're, you go to your laptop or your phone and put it on airplane mode, um, you should still be able to use the app and not get errors. Offline first is about, it's about acknowledging the inherent problems with networks. It's about acknowledging the fact that um, there, there are certain limitations when you have a device that's connected to, um, to a cell tower or even connected to a broadband connection, which is that uh, these connections are flaky. If you want to build an application that has a really just stunningly fast user experience, like the best thing you can do is go offline first. The reason developers, I think, like offline first is that whenever we, we are out in the real world and we encounter something that doesn't work, we have the the software coding abilities to turn that anger into opportunity and go and build something that's better. So that's really what this community is about. I really love offline camp so far. There is a perfect temperature here. It's like the most ideal place to hang out um, and talk to people and get inspired. And there's unlimited coffee and snacks and it's just like such a cool event. It's also really intimate, like everybody here is super friendly and kind of, you can tell everybody came here because they're really interested in um, the topic. And so literally everyone I've had an awesome conversation with. And you have the time and the pacing to really get deep on conversations. Most conferences that I've been to are, are kind of a, a split between, you know, half the time you spend at talks, half the time you spend at uh, conver or conversations outside. The talks are good, but you could watch those online, right? The main main thing you get out of uh, a conference is those human relationships. The offline camp so far has really taken that to the next level. I love that we're outside. This is this is a really beautiful place, and it's a really um, great format change. So I think having a, like a camp atmosphere where it's more relaxed, um, but you're still able to have. Um, it's more of a conversation. Everyone is involved, um, contributing and, and, and kind of working together uh, for a common goal. So with larger events, you always try to build in networking activities and it sometimes feels a little bit forced the way you're doing it. And here, people are really just getting to know each other over the campfire and having casual conversations between sessions. So it's really sort of built the sense of community that I personally haven't seen at a larger event. Everybody having a, kind of the same conversation and being on the same page is like a really amazing thing. I think communities and events are really, really fun when they're this size, and really rewarding. So one of the cool things about camp is that it's unconference style. Uh, it's disconnected for the most part, even though we technically have Wi-Fi, but no one's really using it. They're really uh, just collaborating and um, just talking to each other about the cool projects that they're working on. Everyone here is, has a stake in the, in the process and in what we discuss. So there isn't one, you know, hero or leader. It's, you know, really an open um, collaborative environment, which is really cool. I really enjoy that we go in these small groups and talk about a topic and then come back and present to the larger group and, and have a discussion about it. We just had a hacking session and we actually got to go and you know, compile some stuff and build some stuff and turn those ideas into a little prototype. I really enjoyed our session on Offline First to save the world and that session was all about you know what projects there are out there that are really changing people's lives through implementing Offline First practices. So from everything to activism, uh, disaster recovery, um, you know, reaching third worlds through public programs and hospitals. Um, you know, it's really exciting to see Offline First actually making an impact in that way. I, I love all of the things that we talk about end up being like so uh, full of vision and future. And the other thing we were really excited to see after the CAT skills is this sort of commitment from the group of people who are here to continue to commit to the community. Um, we've had, like I mentioned, people publishing to our, our offline camp medium publication, but also doing, you know, doing design work, hunting down use cases or business cases that we can share that would really make it easier for other people to understand the value of offline first. With the folks who are present, I think, have uh, influence in, in terms of going back to their companies and being able to bring these ideas back and, and maybe see some of them come to fruition.